What is up, everybody? Steven here for Off the Shelf Movie Night to talk to you about physical media, about Blu-rays, 4Ks, and why we like to buy and own our movies and TV shows and put them in a beautiful library and watch them when and how we want without any worry of re-editing or having to rebuy them over and over again, unless, you know... We have a DVD, then we upgrade to Blu-ray, then we upgrade to 4K. That's a whole other thing. Anyway, if you're a physical media collector, or you just like movies, you're in the right spot. Let's have this conversation. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I update. And if you like what you see, a like and a share is always really appreciated. It helps get the word out in the algorithm about the show. So I've been off for a while, probably uh, almost a week. I was off for the Turkey Day holiday. I hope you all had a great holiday as well. I did go out for Black Friday, and I was going to do, I think I had teased last week that I was going to do a Black Friday video for you guys. I didn't do that, and it's because, to be honest with you, Black Friday, in general, for me, was underwhelming. If you want to see the Black Friday, I did do a couple of Black Friday videos. I just decided to drop them over on my TikTok channel, that's OTS Movies on TikTok, Go over there and take a look. I went to Target, Walmart, and Best Buy. Now, had my experience been better, I would have done a video here for you guys here on, on YouTube. But it just wasn't that good. And I'll be honest with you, it wasn't that good overall to me. Um, and what I mean by that is the shopping experience in brick and mortar was underwhelming. And I kind of feel the online experience was a little underwhelming too. I was really hype and I posted some videos here about the Vinegar Syndrome sale. Turns out most things that Vinegar Syndrome is on a high right now as far as quality of releases. Um, they have a lot of things that I actually want right now, but all of those things have been released after July of this year, so they didn't qualify for Vinegar Syndrome's Black Friday sale. Everything that did qualify, I just wasn't interested in. I just wasn't interested. I didn't buy anything for Black Friday. Now, Vinegar Syndrome did announce. Uh, they always have a couple of surprise announcements for Black Friday, and they had those, and one of them I'm very excited for, and that is the Reese Witherspoon starring, Reese Witherspoon in, and Kiefer Sutherland starring Freeway. I love that movie. If I remember correctly, and I'm sure you guys will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure of this, that was a made-for-HBO film, and it was one of, if not Reese Witherspoon's first, it was one of her first appearances in film. I love that movie. Now, I haven't seen it in a very long time. The movie came out in the 90s. I haven't seen it since the early 2000s, I guess. It's been out of print for a long time. I think maybe there was a DVD. But I have wanted that on Blu-ray for so long. And now we finally have it. So, I can't wait to revisit that movie and see if it holds up. See if I still love it as much as I did uh, in the the last time I saw it. It's a great movie. The other stuff that they announced I didn't care about. And like I said, the things that I really want from, from Vinegar Syndrome did not go on sale. And the great thing that's uh, maybe a negative for Vinegar Syndrome in a way, but I, it's really a very customer-friendly thing that they do and very much appreciated, is they post on each item what the stock level is. And the things that I want right now, the special editions that I really want from them, are all over a thousand in stock. So I don't have to rush to buy those, and they weren't on sale, so I didn't get anything. And there is a Black Friday, I believe it's still going, I have to check. There is a Black Friday sale going with Aero Video. I feel the domestic one, the United States one, isn't good. Everything is kind of like $17 and up. Which seventeen dollars for an Arrow release is is pretty good because Arrow releases are nice. They're 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 Criterion quality releases, but it's a bunch of catalog stuff and it's the things that are there I I do kind of want, but I don't have to have. I'm not like oh my god I got to get this. Now there is an Arrow sale happening in the UK also, and the conversion rate right now in the dollar is very good. So ordering from the UK, things are coming out around twelve twelve fifty a piece. And then I believe it's $8 flat to ship here. I think that's what I usually pay. So that is not bad. I have some stuff in my UK card. If the sale isn't over, I'll probably go back and get that stuff. But again, obviously, I haven't ordered it yet. So I'm not like, holy shit, I got to get this stuff ordered. Anyway, to the good stuff. And the reason this video is actually happening. It's a very short video, but I'm back on track now. 
all of it, you know, until Christmas anyway. Um, so there are going to be a lot more videos coming. But I did want to share with you what I did find on Black Friday. I did find a total of four films. I bought four. So, and, and there are four movies that, that I'm happy, like, I'm excited to have in my collection. So it's not like uh, it was a bust. It just just wasn't, you know, what it used to be, sadly. So let's take a look at what I have. And spoiler alert, they all came from Best Buy. They all came from Best Buy. The first film, first film that I did pick up, and this is a redemption for me, this movie, because I went to buy this last year. I wanted this on Black Friday. I wanted to pay $10 for it. It sold out at Best Buy before I could get to it, and I just decided I'm not buying it because it shot back up. It doubled in price after the holiday, and I decided I'm going to wait because I bet it's on Black Friday next year. It was, and I did get it this year. I did get it, and it is the 1994 classic, The Shawshank Redemption with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. It's a Frank Darabont film. I love this movie. I think the internet, social media, has overhyped it as the greatest movie of all time or whatever. It's not that, but it is a really, really good movie. And, you know, one of Frank Darabont's best. I can't believe I still got it with the slipcover a year later. Very excited to add this one to the collection. Is my microphone sinking? Is that the issue here? Um, so, I did get the slip. I've already... See, there's nothing to see in here as far as the 4K and the Blu-ray. It's just basic. There's no pictures or anything. And, of course, this is studio release. So, obviously, no no, no double-sided art or anything like that. There are extras on here, though. And all the reviews that I've seen of this 4K presentation are stellar. So, I'm happy to finally have this. I can't wait to watch it. I'll be watching this very, very soon. I do love this movie. I do love it. And I got it for $10 at Best Buy. So, I'm really happy about that. All right. I only have one more thing technically to show you, but as I said, I got four movies. So let me show you what I got. This didn't come with a slipcover, and I'm sad about that, but it is what it is. This is the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. Now, this came out, it came out originally in a really nice super edition for like 80 bucks. Then it came out again in a more standard edition like this one for $50, but I just kept thinking I can get this on sale. Or I can find all three of these movies individually for like ten bucks a piece and get out of you know get out with about a thirty dollar spend. This was twenty five dollars, I think, on Amazon and also at Best Buy, and that's where I got it at Best Buy. This might be a hot take, it might not be. I don't think it is, but Spider Man Two, Sam Raimi Spider Man Two, is still the best Spider Man movie ever made. It nails the character in ways even the new Tom Holland movies don't. Tom, the Tom Holland movies, he's um, he's overpowered a lot of times. He's got too much access. Peter Parker is supposed to struggle. He's supposed to be very like lower middle class. That was what may, always made him so relatable to me as a kid myself. And this Spider-Man 2 really nails it. So on the inside, we just have some pretty basic 4Ks. I'm thankful that they aren't stacked. It is on a hinged thing here. Wow. All right, so I'm leaving that in because that's how this these releases go sometimes. Um, at least it's not stacked. At least it's not stacked. It looks okay, though. It looks okay. We survived. And, of course, it would be the, the best one in the set, Spider-Man 2. I'm curious to revisit Spider-Man 3, though. I really want to see if it's, if it's really, really as bad as I remember it being. Spider-Man 3, if I remember right, did have some good moments in it, but it just had some really cringe moments, too. So, of the three, I think I'm most excited to revisit that one because I've seen it the least. Uh, Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2, I've seen a lot. So, you guys, that is literally my entire Black Friday haul. That's it. Four movies. One one box set and one individual movie. I did set out to buy more, but there just, there just wasn't the selection this time. There just really wasn't. There was one other that I was tempted to get, and it was Min. The the uh, Alex Garland movie, A24 release, I know that movie is very divisive. I don't think it's nearly as bad as the people who say it's bad uh, believe it to be. I think it's misjudged. But, and it, it, again, it was $7.99 on Blu-ray, but I just feel like A24 may do a 4K release of it. 
and I would definitely want it on 4K if it came out that way because it is, regardless of what you say about the, the story, it's a beautiful movie to look at and I would much prefer to have it in 4K. So I passed, I passed, but I did sit, hover at Best Buy for a bit and think about it because that was a, that's seven bucks, seven ninety nine. that's a great price for that movie. And there were other movies that were really good price. The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent was also seven ninety nine for the standard release. I think the the Steel Book was even there, uh, the four K Steel Book. I think it was like fifteen dollars. But I've had that for a long time, so that's that's the bane of the existence of a of a collector. You know, if you were just getting into collecting, there were plenty of really good titles, uh, good catalog titles. But it was all stuff that I had. I was hoping there would be a, a reasonable sale on Top Gun Maverick. I know it's a fairly new title, but I was hoping maybe there would be a discounted 4K, but there wasn't. Um, I will end up with Top Gun Maverick at some point, but I'll buy that one for $10. That's just, I don't know, for some reason, that's the number I like for certain movies, and, and that's what I like for Top Gun Maverick. Anyway, what did you guys get for Black Friday? Did you end up buying anything from Vinegar Syndrome or Shout Factory, Scream Factory, any of that stuff? Let me know in the comments to talk about your pickups. And uh, let's watch for the next Christmas sale. There'll be some more sales between now and Christmas, and maybe we'll still pick up some stuff. Anyway, until next week, pull something cool off the shelf, share it with your friends and family, and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV at home. I'll see you guys on the next one.